Hi Sagittarius, welcome to my channel. Mary here with Leo Sunlight Insight here to do your April 2019 love reading. We'll see what's going on for you guys. Thank you so much for stopping by and I hope this resonates for you in some way. If you have any questions below about this reading, you can leave them in the description box. Check the description box for the decks I'm using, information on personal readings, PayPal there if you wish to tip or donate uh, to the channel is very much appreciated. So thank you very much for that. And quick shout out to all my new subscribers. Thank you, thank you for all the support and love. It's greatly appreciated. And clients also who have reached out for personal readings. Thank you so much. Okay, so I'm here to give you insight into your love situation for April 2019, Sagittarius. So we'll start here with this deck. And if you're not dealing with any signs that I may say at any time during this reading, then please disregard those signs and take in only the signs that resonate for you. Um, just take in what resonates and throw away what doesn't. That's what I always say. If this message isn't fitting for you, then it's probably not meant for you. And you can check out other readings on other signs in your chart, particularly your Venus sign for love. Or stay tuned for your next love reading or check my playlist for past readings may resonate with you more even though there's a date and time on them i do uh consider all my readings to be timeless anyway so please keep that in mind all right so to get into your love reading now for sagittarius for april 2019 with this deck we'll see if you're dealing with a certain uh planet energy or element or a particular sign for some of you so can we have one card? That's two, but I did have fire and Virgo, so you could be dealing with a Virgo or a fire sign, but I only want one, so I'm not going to be taking them. I want one card with sign Pluto. Okay, Pluto energy. And I'll have to read what Pluto is about since I'm not an astrologist, so... Uh, let's see what signs are associated with Pluto. Um, let's see, Scorpio is the sign associated with Pluto. You could be dealing with a Scorpio. You could have Scorpio in your chart, or they could have Scorpio in their charts. Sometimes you have one sign more predominantly in your chart, even more so than your sun sign. So, however that resonates. So let's see if I can find... Pluto, little tiny Pluto was the last one here. Associated with the Roman god Pluto, who ruled the underworld. Uh, Pluto carries a lot of in important human experiences, nothing less than life, death, rebirth, and sex. Tied in with these ideas are issues of power and control, as well as finding personal freedom from combining mindsets. I got this card for, was it you last time? And maybe your general, or your last love reading? Or maybe it was another sign. Hmm. Seems like I, I got this one for you. I'd have to go back and look, but life, death, rebirth, sex, personal freedom from confining mindsets. So we'll see how that plays in for you, Sagittarius, in love or April or thereafter. Doesn't have to necessarily be just for April. Keep that in mind. All right, so with this deck, what is your main message that you need in love for April 2019 with the sign of Sagittarius? That's my sign to start shuffling this way. All right, that was fast. All right, so we have Sedna, Infinite Supply. You are supplied for today and all of your tomorrows. Okay, so let me, that could be in uh, love, emotions, finances, it could be anything. So let's see what the book says. Um, abundant universe filled with more than enough for everyone. The energy format of this planet is about pol polarities. In this instance, it's about giving and receiving. The key is to balance the two and balance is temperance which is this uh card the major arcana card of sagittarius um 
The key is balance, to balance the two. If you only give, you'll feel drained, resentful, and experience lack. If you only receive, you won't enjoy what you have. Balance comes from fearlessly giving as you're guided and then receiving with joy and gratitude. It's exactly like breathing. Both the inhale and the exhale are identically important. Practice giving and receiving daily and you'll never want for anything. So you may be giving too much in a relationship or there's not, a, not an equal give and take and there is a need for balance. I don't know. We'll see what comes out here for the rest of your reading. All right, so ooh. what is the romance angel message for Sagittarius? All the decks have been pre-shuffled, pre-cut, pre-meditated on off camera because that's a lengthy process and that would make the reading even longer and I'm sure you don't want to watch that. So I just do a little extra shuffling to bring more energy in and to show that the cards are not stacked in any way. Okay, so can we have one card now for the sign of Sagittarius in love for April? Oh, I just had soulmate flip for April 2019. Spirit, please. What is the romance? Oh. For yourself, it's time to take back control of your life. Wow. And that could be go in with Senna. Maybe there is not equal give and take in your relationship. Maybe time to free certain cycles of giving too much and not giving, not getting a lot back in return. Um, I don't know. We'll see how this plays out for you. That could mean different things. Okay, so let's see with the moment, uh, angel answers. What the angel answer is for you. What is the angel answer needed? We may get a timeline, an answer, advice. We'll just see what comes out for you. Sagittarius in love. Spirit, please. One card for April 2019. Wow. You're ready. Whatever it is you need to free yourself of here, you're ready. Wow. So there's a need to free yourself from something and you're ready. So we'll see what how this plays out for you, Sagittarius. Okay, so what is the love message needed? Wow. <laughs> Wowzies for Sagittarius for April 2019. What is the message, the love message? I got two there, but I only got one. I have one. Oh, I guess that's it. <laughs> and I don't know how this plays in, but now you have sexual union. Honor the place in one another where you are one eternal soul, for there you will find true bliss. Okay, so, I don't know, are you ready for sex? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what that means. We'll find out with the tarot here. If I can get this to stay. There we go. Oh, infinite supply. So there's a need for equal give and take balance giving and receiving infinite supply but also but then we have free yourself and you're ready and then you have that message so <laughs> wow this is a little confusing so hopefully with the tarot here it'll make some sense um i mean pluto is, did say it is about sex and then you got the sexual union card um i don't know let's see Oops. All right, we'll see how this plays out for you, Sagittarius. With the tarot here, we will clarify your cards and go deeper into what all this is about for some of you. Seems a little confusing right now. The message is about needing balance, equal give and take, and then a need to free yourself from something. 
but you're ready for something also. Hmm. I don't know. We shall see. All right. So we have. I didn't ask yet, so I don't feel comfortable taking that. Let's clarify Sedna. What is this equal give and take about? What is this giving and receiving? Infinite supply for Sagittarius for April 2019. Sagittarius and love. Can we clarify Sedna, please? For Sagittarius, Spirit, a few cards, please. Well, this just flipped over. And number eight, I believe, let's see, number eight. This deck, I have only used it a few times and I find it um, vice versa deck a little bit confusing because there's images on both sides and there's no writing on it. So it's a major arcana, I know that. So let's see, number eight, strength. Hmm. Oh, it's 13, death. <laughs> I'm not good with Roman numerals. 13, not eight. I thought that was death. So this is Scorpio, and that's confirming the uh, Pluto energy here. So death is... Uh, Wow, that is the ending of a situation. But then it came uh, this way, which I believe is the reverse. So death is about uh, an ending of a situation. Um, that's just the end of it. And it's the ending and transformation. So that's what death is about. So there's a transformation here. And it looks like you've come out of this ending, the situation. And now there's a brighter side to it. You've been transformed. Now you see the sunlight. Not so much in the dark energy here of the death of the situation. Now you're more enlightened. You're more transformed. Um, you know, you have a flower in your hand now, so you're seeing the bright side of the situation. Like maybe you've learned your lessons. Um, you're ready to bask in sunshine now. All right, so I don't... Okay, so what do we have here now? The Five of Wands. Yeah, conflict. So this was a very conflicting situation for you, either with or with your person. There was a lot of petty arguments and conflict in the situation between two people here, which led to the death and transformation of you from this situation. And now we have Strength here, which is Leo. So this is about being, um, yeah, you've transformed and now you're more stronger, confident, courageous and bold than you were before because you transformed out of the situation. You've healed probably out of the situation and now you're very strong, stronger person. So for free yourself, wow, now we have the full energy. So now you're ready to take a leap of faith. You're ready to start over from zero. So I feel like for some of you, oh, you probably just came out of a relationship. Something ended, but you transformed out of that situation. You're seeing the bright side. You're more stronger now. You got the sun twice here in these pictures. So you're not so much in a dark place anymore. And now you're ready to... Um, move forward in life, only taking with you what you need and leaving all the baggage behind here with the full energy only takes what's in this little tiny knapsack and just takes a big leap of faith and starts over from zero. Yeah, the five of uh, pentacles here. So this is feeling like abandoned and cold, left out in the cold. Um, so you either left this person or... Uh, they left you feeling maybe you felt like this at one point, just very cold and lonely and alone. But now you're ready to take this leap of faith here. 
and now you're seeing the truth and clarity of the situation. You have a brand new beginning here based on truth and honesty and clarity. Truthful communications, cutting away things that are no longer serving you, which could have been the situation you freed yourself from. And now you're standing in your truth, your dignity, your strength, because we have the strength here with uh, the Leo energy. And the full energy is um, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius energy. Um, but it doesn't have to be. It can just be the energy. And this is also air energy with the swords. So you're just living in your truths now. You're standing up. You're not taking anyone's BS. Um, you have your sword here. And now you're not afraid to use it. Because now, you know, you're very strong, courageous, and brave. And you're standing in your truth and dignity in your life, what's best for you, moving forward, moving forward in truth, clarity, communication, and being strong, and starting over from zero, wow, and that's with free yourself, so you freed yourself from something, and now you're starting over, because the tower moment came, it came crumbling down, I feel like it's already happened, it's already happened with the death, I'm sorry, this is death, so it's already happened, and now the transformations have already taken place. So this could be something that's already happened for you, that you freed yourself from. Wanting something more and more balanced than what, you know, you had. Because look how similar these cards are. Just feeling like, you know, kind of blah. Wow. We have 22 on Pluto, which reduces to four, and that is all about home and stability and uh, the base, the base roots. So this definitely could do with a home situation or a marriage situation for some of you. Okay, so what is you already about? What is that about for Sagittarius in love? It's way too many. For April. 2019, please. What is your ready about for Sagittarius in love? For April 2019. We have some clarifiers. It's way too many. A few clarifiers, please, Spirit. Thank you so much. Please be patient with the shuffling. <laughs> for, there we go. Wow, so now we have the Ten of Pentacles and we have the Two of Wands. So the Ten of Pentacles does speak of um, home life, family life, marriage, stability, um, finances, two people merged together as one. So this is the back of the deck, uh, the back of the card. This is the, no, this is the back. And this is the front. So I'm getting a very single energy, although that usually means... Uh, the happy home and family, financially abundant card. But now you're setting out on a new journey. You have the two of wands here. So you're looking out into the horizon and you're deciding, you know, looking at the world, what path am I going to go on? I have decisions to make on where my life is going to lead now. Um, where am I going to go? What am I going to do? Now that I've, you know, freed myself from this situation, I'm ready to move on here with the two of wands. Maybe you've made the decision because now you have one wand in your hand. So it's like here's the marriage and the home and you walking away from it and heading out on a new journey. And you're ready. You're ready for that journey. Wow. So on the here now we have your brand new beginning with the Ace of Wands. It's a brand new passionate beginning. It's a spark. It's a creative idea. It's a spark of imagination. Um, it's very passionate and exciting. It like hit, It's like a bolt of lightning happening, happening for you. Um, and you're just ready to embark on this new journey that you're very uh, excited about. Whatever that is for you. It's just a spark and an idea now. But it's there. The, the uh, leaves are starting to bud here. So you're ready. You're ready for this new beginning here. 
just a spark and an idea now of where you're going, what you're heading out to with the Two of Wands. And I feel like it's away from the Ten of Pentacles that you probably once had. you got two beginnings here. The Ace of Wands and the Ace of Swords. So you have passion, excitement, creativity, and then you have truth, clarity, cutting away things that are no longer serving you. Standing up for yourself, clear communication. Wow, okay. So what is this sexual union about? If you're heading away from a person and you do have two new beginnings here, but what, what the heck is sexual union about for you? I don't know. Let's see. With the tarot here, can we clarify for Sagittarius for April 2019, please, Spirit? What is this sexual union about? What is that all about? For Sagittarius in love. Okay. All right. So you have the Three of Cups. Well, I'm trying to. This deck is confusing to me, but <laughs> I bought it, so I'm going to use it. Hmm, it's almost like you're reaching out into the universe, up to the sky, and the Three of Cups is about like reuniting and celebrations, like on this side, coming together with like minded people, reuniting with somebody, and it's like here you're wishing and hoping maybe to reunite with somebody. Like you have your cup to offer to somebody else now and you want to extend that cup out to somebody and reunite with them. I don't know, let's see what that is all about. Well, you have the Two of Swords in reverse, so... Actually, yeah, it's in reverse, so you've made a decision here. You've decided here, because the Two of Swords, this way you're, you're blind to making a decision, you're very indecisive. And you don't know what to do. You're not seeing things clearly. You don't know how to make this decision. Very turbulent, rocky waters here. Very conflicted and confused. But now, you know, you have more calmful, peaceful waters. You've been enlightened with the moon energy here, following your intuition. I feel like now you've made your decision. You're feeling very calm and peaceful about it. About reuniting with somebody. Or coming together with somebody and offering this cup to somebody. Hmm. Let's see. But now you have the hangman. This is uh, Cancer or Pisces. So, yeah, so this is like taking a pause, taking a break, just hanging out, not taking any action. So I feel like you've made your decision. You know what direction you want to go in and maybe offering your cup to somebody else. But right now you're just not taking any action. There's a pause. There's a break. No action being taken. Maybe you're still thinking and contemplating about this offer, about what to do, how to move forward. And then we got the King of Wands, and here's your energy. This uh, fire energy, Leo Sagittarius. Aries. So this is being very, uh, Wands are very passionate, strong, confident, bold, uh, creative. Um, they're go-getters, they go after what they want, and they succeed. They usually own their own business, are very smart and creative. So, I mean, I feel like, whoops, very strong and brave here, and passionate, but right, right now there's just a break, a pause, no action being taken. Let me fix that. Here we go. For some reason, there's no action being taken right now, even though you feel very passionate and strong and confident in this decision that you made, in this cup you want to offer to somebody else that you want to reunite with. So this could be somebody that you already know, but this is just a pause and a break, no action being taken. So... <sighs> So I'm trying to decide if I want to pull another card over here. Maybe you're still healing from this past issue that you just left behind, and that's why there's no movement forward right now. Because the, you know, hey man, you could be just kind of hanging back and still healing and thinking about things before moving forward. 
So let's see, now we have the Seven of Pentacles. So yeah, you're just kind of hanging back here, looking at the past, looking at um, what you worked so hard for and what's left of it, what's left in your life, taking inventory. And then we have the Four of Wands. So this is uh, home stability, very, very stable energy here. Two people come together. This is two people coming together in a very, very stable way. And it's also the Twin Flame card. So you could be dealing with the Twin Flame. And then we have the Six of Cups. Wow. So <laughs> Six of Cups, that's soulmate energy. That's someone from your past. Um, looking back on memories, nostalgia. Someone you've had past lives with. Look at this guy is almost like looking back on things here about this person and like wanting to reach out here with the Six of Cups. Past energy here, soulmate energy here, twin flame energy here, but just being still and taking inventory of what's in your life now, what will grow now from what you've got left in your life, from what you left behind and what you have now. Yep. Okay. So I see this person that you may want to move forward to after a period of time. Could be your soulmate or your twin flame. But this is another pause here, not taking any action yet. Okay. As someone you think of that you're very attracted to, attracted to obviously, because we have the sexual union card here. Uh, King of Wands. Uh, hopefully you're not like a player, you know, just want to mess around. I don't know if that's the energy you're in, but because uh, the three of cups can also mean three, more than one person or third party. So... You know that because if you look on this other side there's many people so i know you take that how it resonates for you whether you must just want to reunite come together and offer your cup to one person or you just want to be a player now after you come out of this um thing you went through so you take that how it resonates however you know it's meant for you but i mean you do have just hanging back here not really doing anything here too so there's two stories there. It could go either way for you. How are we doing on time? 27 minutes. Wow. On the bottom of the deck, we have Aira Kiara. I don't even know how to say that. Blossoming. You are just getting started, so have patience with yourself in the process. Have, your, have patience with yourself in the process and do not give up. Wow. Balance. Patience, too, is also um, temperance is about patience and balance. Temperance is Sagittarius card. So how fitting is that? So this process you're going through, uh, you're just getting started in this transformation here because, you know, with the death card and not to give up and uh, just have patience with yourself. What do we have under that? Bright, uh, Bridget, don't back down. Stand up for what you believe is right. Wow, definitely here with the Ace of Swords energy, standing up for what you believe is right for yourself. In your situations doing what's right for you and cutting away those things that are no longer serving you okay Sagittarius uh, that was your love reading for April 2019 I'm sorry if you've been through something here but it, it looks like you have your eyes on somebody else here that you may want to offer your cup to here I mean we didn't get the ace of cups but um, we did get the ace of wands and the ace of swords so those are two new beginnings for you and, you know, could be a soulmate or a twin flame that you could be um, starting out with. Starting out new with, with the full energy here. So for the uh, signs, we have uh, Scorpio, Leo, um, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Cancer, Pisces. What was under here? So those for the major arcana of the signs. But if you're not dealing with those signs, then just uh, 
toss those away. So I hope this resonated for you in some way. If it did, I'm, I'm happy. Uh, leave a comment. I'd like to know. Thank you for stopping by and watching. And I'm wishing you good luck on your journey here. Or whatever turns out for you. Um, good luck to you. And sending you much light, love, and blessings. As, as I always say, shine your light.